Hey everybody, it's me Nea. Hope you guys are having a good time learning tasty and simple new recipes from my channel on a weekly basis. Also, thank you for your constant love and support to our channel. And to our new viewers, don't forget to subscribe to Miracles of Taste Buds. Only your likes and comments will encourage me to upload more recipes in times to come. And today, I'll be showing you how to make Sambal Tumis Ikan Selar. Now let's look at the ingredients and preparation that we need for Sambal Tumis Ikan Selar. Prepare 10 to 15 dry red chilies. Cut them and remove the seeds if you want it less spicy. Soak it in hot water for about 15 minutes. Here are the other ingredients that needs to be blended along with the dry red chili. 1 tomato 3 shallots, 3 to 5 cloves of garlic, 1 fresh red chili, water as needed, and half a tablespoon of salt. Then cut 1 medium sized of red onion into ring shape, 2 tablespoons of tomato sauce, 1 tablespoon of brown sugar or palm sugar, 1 4 cup of tamarind juice or as needed, and salt to taste. I'm using yellow tails catfish for this recipe, also known as salar kuning in Malaysia. You can use any other fish for this recipe as well. Marinate the fish with some turmeric and salt. Set aside the marinated fish into a blender jar, adding the ingredients for the sambal tumis or the chili paste. Add in the soaked dry red chilies without the water, tomatoes, shallots, fresh red chilies, and garlic. Then add half tablespoon of salt and pour in water as needed to blend the chili paste. Blend the ingredients into a smooth chili paste which will be our sambal tomes later. And here it is, our sambal paste is ready to be cooked. Place a deep pan on the stove over high flame, pouring enough oil for deep frying. Check if the oil is hot enough for frying already. I'm using a chopstick to check. If you see bubbles, then it's ready to be used. Carefully add in the fish that you have marinated earlier. Then slowly reduce the flame to medium to low and fry the fish until crispy. And you don't want to be scrolling through your Instagram while the fish is frying. But do follow us on Instagram under the handle page name Miracles of Taste Buds. Thank you. 
Now that the fish is well fried, remove it from the hot oil, transfer it to a plate. Our super crispy ikan salar is now ready. Now let's move to the making of the sambal tumis. Remove about a quarter of oil that we used to fry the fish, but we need enough oil to cook the sambal tumis. Point all the chili paste that we blended earlier. Then switch on the stove and cook the sambal over medium to low flame. It's best not to cook the sambal over high flame to prevent it from burning in the bottom. Stir occasionally to check if there is enough water and oil in the sambal. If there is not enough oil, then you can always add in more oil. The idea of this is to cook the sambal thoroughly so that we won't be consuming raw chili paste later. So yes, I personally like to cover the chili paste with a lid when being cooked. This is to avoid my kitchen turning into a mini chili paste horror movie, which eventually turns out to be a hectic to clean up as well. Let the chili paste to keep boiling over low to medium flame until you notice oil separating in the corners. Also, you will notice the chili paste turning slightly more reddish than what it looks like right now. The oil has now separated, so we can add in the tamarind juice, brown sugar, and the tomato ketchup. Mix all the ingredients well and check if there is enough salt. If no, feel free to add a little more salt to taste. Stir in well and let the chili paste to thicken. You can also remove half of this and store it in an airtight glass container to save up for your next recipe. I would usually refrigerate some of this chili paste to be used for my other recipes like fried rice, fried noodles, or even curries. The chili paste has now thickened and is in the consistency that I need for this sambal tumis ikan salar. We can now add in the cut onions and give it a quick toss. You can remove the sambal tumis immediately or you can let the onions to cook a little until the oil bubbles up perfect just the way i like it now let's go get the fried fish that we made earlier plate the fried fish nicely and pour over the cooked sambal tumis over the fish waste no sambal tumis as it's so precious trust me you will love it so much which you will only find out when you give it a try Hey everybody, hope you like the recipe that I shared with you guys today. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends and family. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Miracles of Taste Buds. Until next time, love you all. Take care.